What's up everybody, this is Investing Sensei. So I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on how you guys can add, uh, I still don't know how a name for it, but I'm gonna call it the M1 Activity Dividend Calculator. If you guys have a better name for it, let me know in the comment section, we'll change it. Uh, but we're gonna go with the M1 uh, calc Dividend Calculator. So uh, for this, I'm gonna actually show you guys how you guys can run this. So right now you guys can see I'm on my portfolio. You're gonna go over here to the activities, uh, you'll actually see this green button here. So this is what I'm going to show you guys how you guys can add this to your uh, portfolio uh, so that you guys can calculate your dividends. I'm going to actually walk you through how this works and then I'm going to jump over and we will actually walk you through step by step on how you guys can set this up. It's super easy, uh, really straightforward. But uh, what this does is that if you click on this button, uh, you'll get a pop up and it'll basically add up all the dividends in this page for you. Uh, so all the dividends, instead of manually having to add them or having to wait till the end of the month for the statement, uh, you guys can just click on the button and it'll tell you how much you made for that week. Uh, so that is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and click it. So we'll see how much we made for this week so far. So it looks like we've made $42.79 uh, in dividends for this week. So that is pretty cool. So that is the actual script. Uh, so uh, that is the demo there. If you guys are interested on it, uh, continue on. If you guys are not interested any, anymore and you guys are gonna click off, before you do that, be sure to go ahead and smash that like button so that you guys can help out the channel as well. While I'm here, if uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification if you haven't done so already this way you'll be notified when I upload new videos uh, especially for the portfolio updates on Sundays that I usually typically do uh, but anyways let's go ahead I'm gonna actually clear everything uh, wipe all my stuff so that we can uh, start uh, clean and that you guys know how to go step by step so let's go ahead and get started Alright guys, so I removed the Temper Monkey script, uh, which is actually the first thing that you'll actually need. You're actually going to need Temper Monkey installed uh, for all of my previous existing subscribers uh, that are caught up with the Google scripts that I do have. Uh, you probably can go ahead and skip this step, so just go ahead and fast forward. I'll try to remember to add a timestamp, but if I don't, uh, just fast forward. Uh, this is for anybody that doesn't have Temper Monkey. So I guess uh, first thing you want to do is just Google Temper Monkey, uh, and then you'll be able to see over here on the description, Temper Monkey just allows you to basically create um, JavaScript scripts that you can run on a page on a web page so uh, in our case we are gonna I wrote a JavaScript script that basically runs on the M1 activity page that basically adds up all those dividends for us so uh, definitely go ahead and uh, I've only tried this actually on Google Chrome so uh, you'll click on this and then uh, once that pops up you should be able to like click install and then once that installs you should see it at the top right uh, you'll see like a little icon here uh, and then uh, that means you have Temper Monkey installed. If you don't see it, you'll probably have to click on the little puzzle and that'll tell you uh, that you have Temper Monkey on there. Uh, but yeah, that's the first step. Let's go ahead and jump over to GitHub. All right, guys, so we're at the GitHub repository and uh, I will have a link to it in the video description so that you guys can get to this point in time. Uh, probably I'm gonna link it to the exact release so you guys can, you don't have to worry about this next step. But the first thing we do want to do is click on the releases. Uh, so basically we are interested in 5.1.0. And so the reason why I'm going to releases is because, uh, you know, by the time that you do watch this video, this could be a couple months from now, a year, two years from now, uh, some of the stuff could potentially change. And so the organization of the files could be removed or moved around. So just so that you're able to still follow this video step by step, uh, that's why you want to make sure that you're at this exact release because that it's kind of like a snapshot at the point in time of this code. Uh, but basically I gave a little bit overview of the description of this release which I already showed you guys the demonstration on how this works. But basically you're going to want to click right here on the uh, basically number and this will take you to that point in time. So this is what you'll see. Make sure that it says 5.1.0. Uh, because that is the one that we care about. Uh, the first thing here is you're going to click on the Temper Monkey Scripts directory. Uh, this is going to take you to, uh, you're going to see three, four files. 
the one we care about is the one that says M1 Finance Activity Dividend Calculator dot uh, G J S. So you're gonna click on it, and since what there's a lot of code here, you're just gonna click raw, and what this is gonna take you is you'll be able to basically uh, control A to select everything, and then either you can do control C or you can just right click copy. So at this point, it's in our clipboard. Uh, one of the things that we'll do is uh, you'll actually go up here to the top right, click on the temper monkey, and uh, you will go to a uh, dashboard. So this is gonna open up a tab for you, and uh, you'll see these other existing uh, scripts that I do have if you guys are interested in them. Uh, I do have links to those in the video description. They're pretty cool. Uh, and uh, you'll click on this little plus sign right here. here. And so this is going to basically bring a new thing. You're just going to go ahead and highlight all that, delete it, and then we're just going to right click, paste as plain text, and uh, you're going to scroll to the top and uh, just make sure everything is right. So you are good there. You're going to just click file and then you click save. And so now you should see another one right here. Well, I guess in your case, you should just see one or if you are up to date with all my scripts, you should see two of them. Uh, this is the other one I'm working currently, so you guys are gonna get a sneak peek on it. Uh, I have some really cool stuff I'm gonna show you guys later on. Not, not in this video, but in the future. So be sure that you're subscribed with that bell notification so you're not notified when I upload these new videos with the new scripts. Uh, but uh, you'll see that new uh, script here. And so actually one of the things I forgot to actually show you, we're actually going to disable it. I forgot to show you the full thing of it not working. So I'm going to jump over here to M1. I'm going to actually refresh it. And then uh, while it refreshes, you'll see that it's gone. And so uh, at the temper monkey, uh, we'll go ahead and enable it uh, just so you guys can see. Uh, so we'll, we'll jump over here to M1. And so at this point, you can refresh it and then you'll see that it's going to appear. So there we go. Uh, as well, you can also at the top right, you can just disable it if you don't care to see it anymore. Uh, we'll, you just have to refresh the page uh, and then it's gone. So in our case, uh, we will enable it because we want to check it out. And then uh, we will refresh. And so one of the things that I did notice about the script when I wrote it is that you do have to go on the activities tab and then you have to refresh and then you'll see the green button. If you log into M1 and then uh, you just go to the activities, it's not going to show up. You have to make sure that you're logged in to the activities, refresh the page. And then at that point, you can just toggle around portfolio. Uh, and then the activities, it'll still show up. It's just that one first time when you first log in or the page has to be reloaded. Uh, but uh, this actually works, guys. Let's go ahead and click this button, calculate, and you'll see that it says that we made $42.79. Let's just go ahead and uh, go ahead and filter out by dividends only. And let's just go ahead and filter out by, uh, I guess, the 23rd just so that we know, see if we actually get that. Three All right, so that is $4.83. So let's just go ahead and calculate that. You'll see that it says $4.83. So how cool is that, guys? Uh, so this is the first uh, version of the script. If you guys think of any cool ideas to add to it or any other things that you guys think that we should make, let me know in the comment section and then uh, hopefully I'll get some time and I'll work on that. Uh, so yeah guys, this is awesome. Let me know what you guys think and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Remember to support the video by simply hitting that like button as well. If you guys want to share this out with any friends, families, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll be glad to uh, help them out as well and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.